Alright, what's up guys? Troy ATXRC Productions here. Uh, just got up and uh, the solo update hit while we were uh, away. So, we're going to do a walkthrough of how to do a solo update. So, I have my iPad Mini 2. I've already updated the software for the app. So, first thing, just go download your app. Uh, go check for updates and get your update there. Turn on solo. And we'll turn on the radio. Now while these things boot up, I was just going to tell you guys how this kind of technically works out. So, the firmware update is act for solo itself. It's a separate update than the app. The app is just an app. <clears throat> what the app does do is when you load it and it's all hooked up, it does check with the information that it downloaded off the server the last time it talked to the server, and it says, is this the correct app? Is this the correct firmware? Is this the correct radio firmware? All of that. By the way, it's uh, ready. Um, if the answer to that question is yes, all is up to date, then when you hit the checked up to date button, it double checks the copter and says, yes, against the version I know, it's up to date. So you have to be able to connect to the server with the solo app. So before I do anything, I'm actually going to run into the solo app and I'm going to go to flight school and I'm going to play a video. Just basically tells me I know I'm online. I know that I'm connected to 3DR. So what I'll do now, I'm sorry, I will go back, close that, we'll go back. We'll go into settings. It's not connected, so we know that. So I know that it's connected to the internet right now. So now I'm going to switch over to Solo Link. So we'll switch up and we'll hook up to Solo Link. I'm going to turn my cell data on so I have access to both connections. <clears throat> and I'll now go in. This time when I go, I go to fly. Uh, it's obtaining the IP address and searching for GPS. We are connected. So settings, software. Want to improve solo? A new software update is available. Automatically switches to fly manual when GPS drops. Improve checks for GPS quality, reduce time for GPS lock, and lift the throttle to exit land mode. All right, so connect to Wi-Fi with fast internet. Press the home button on your device. All right, so it tells you how to do it. So you need to go to internet. So I'm gonna turn my cell off just so I don't waste it. We'll go to Wi-Fi. <clears throat> We're just following directions here, guys. Make sure you read and follow directions. They give you these directions. Part of the reason people are having issues with updates is because they're quickly hitting OK. If you go through a menu and, and don't read it, back back out and retry it, guys. There's a lot of good information through this stuff. OK, uh, download. Um, update is downloading to your device. So it's downloading. And we know when this is done, the same way that we did when we first got the solo hooked up. We will get everything transferred from here to the radio. We'll shut everything down. We'll reboot. We'll turn solo on. Then we'll transfer from radio to solo. I see a progress bar, by the way. Guys, watch your progress bars. They're everywhere, but they're hard to spot. This one's a really thin green line, and it's almost done. It's right across the top. Check. All right. <clears throat> so to install the, the update, please connect to Wi-Fi solo. So we'll go back. I'm going to turn my cell, cell data back on just because it's my religious habit to do so when I go into solo. My solo link is now being reestablished. All right, solo link established. It now says updates ready to transfer. I'll begin. Oops, shoot, I hit cancel, here we go.
Again. The update's being transferred to the controller. Once again, status bar. The first few times I did this, I did not see that. People think that, oh, it's not working. Oh, what's it doing? Blah, blah, blah. Well, if it sits here for a while and that status bar doesn't move, then yes, it's not doing anything. Uh, but it does take, you know, a minute or two. So it's 50% done. Still going. So as you can see, guys, this is not necessarily the quickest, hey, I'm going to grab my solo out of my trunk, I'm going to update, and I'm going to fly. I suggest you do this at home, sit down, be patient, make sure you're, you're, you're doing the right thing. Okay, it's now wanting to go ahead and go into update, so I'm going to let it. I know I said that I would shut the radio and the app down, but I'm going to just do this the way it's supposed to be. App is disconnected from solo during the update, or this app will disconnect from solo during the update. So it's telling you... I'm going to update, don't worry, the app is going to die on you. Hit next. That's because, there you go. So now it's wanting solo link. So reconnect to solo when you see the green check mark. The controller will turn off for about one minute. So it's looking for the green check mark here. It's a little confusing because, again, it just told you I'm going to disconnect from the app. So don't freak out. Now quit trying to keep connecting. Oh my gosh, it's flashing red. When it flashes red, it's doing something. The same as our password uh, change. It flashed red for two or three minutes while it reset the connection and re reset its password. So it's going through its light up process. You can't, I don't know if you can see, but it, they're turning different colors. You got purples and yellows and blues and greens. So we are going to continue to let it do that. I will be right back. Ah, uh, now it's singing to me. Got my attention. I said, come on back. Just kidding. All right. So Solo says green. It says updating in progress still. It says it might take five minutes, so we'll wait. It says updating system, so... Looks like the radio just turned off. I think it's going to recycle itself. I'll touch anything. Don't freak out. And it looks off, but if you look at the back, it's not off. Don't freak out. Well, no, it's not. You can kind of see the red glow inside. You see it? Still working, guys. Told you. Might take five minutes. <laughs> And bam, controller updated. Reconnect the solo Wi-Fi, press A to continue. All right, so it took what, like seven minutes, man. I mean, it's going to happen, okay? So let it do its job. We didn't have to reset everything. I know I've recommended that. I even said it at the beginning of this video, but hey, that was my recommendation for the first update because we were having problems getting it to set. If you have problems getting everything to set up, 
and you have the app downloaded and you have the firmware downloaded to the radio, turn everything off, turn solo off, turn solo on, turn the radio, turn everything on, and then go update it. All right. We're in solo link. Let's go double check. There we go. We are ready to search for GPS. Now, it says hit A, so we'll hit A. It's ready to go. While I'm here, I want to see selfie, cable cam, orbit, follow me. It's all here. Sets two points still. All right, that's still what it does. All right. So we're going to try orbit mode. Oh, it's not ready to fly. That's why. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be ready to fly either. Uh, so that's the app, guys. That's the update. Um, looks like everything's there. So we'll go out. We're going to go fly. Um, I got to go to work first, but... I'll test the update. You guys, uh, that's how you do your solo update, guys. Uh, ATXRC Addicts, uh, ATXRC Productions, ATXR Drone Services. All of it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting, guys. Late.